Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. So today we're going to talk about one of my favorite features of iOS 10, and that's the new Maps app. Yeah, and this is something that I noticed like right away when I was driving around in my car mm -hmm. using Maps. The icons are so big, it's so easy to understand, um, it was just simplified, yet more complicated, more expensive. More rich. Yeah, more right. Rich. Yeah. It's richer like app, perfect. but easier to use. Yeah. Um, they've done things like they've included app integration, and uh, so we can take a look at OpenTable and Uber right, right from the app, um, as well as a parked car feature, which is a lot of fun. Oh, that is fun. And yeah. I think really the best way to uh, show you maps is to go somewhere. Yeah, so let's go to lunch. Yeah, let's go eat. Okay, so now let's take a look at uh, finding a restaurant to eat at. Okay, great. So the first thing we're going to do, we've gone into the Maps app, and we're going to come down here where it says search for a place or an address. And just tap inside there, and it's going to pull up and show us all these suggested uh, categories that we can search by. Now, is this new with iOS 10? This is not new in okay. iOS 10, but we're going to use it anyway. So we're going to go into food, and it brings up different types of food places to eat. And we're going to go and tap on restaurants to further bring that down. Okay. Because we want to sit Narr down and eat. Narrow. narrow it down. Right. And it's going to bring up a whole bunch of restaurants that are nearby, but I don't see the one that I really want us to go to. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and X that, get rid of that suggestion. I'm just going to type a name in. Okay. That's, a, that's good to know. You can look through the ones it gives you, but you can also just always type in one that you want. Right. And here it comes up, Birches on the Lake. Perfect. The old Billy's Lighthouse in Long Lake. Okay. It used <laughs> to be a nice restaurant on a lake. Right. So we're going to go check it out, and um, it brings it up on the map, shows okay. us where it is, and then you can go ahead and show us the details. Yeah. I think one of the nice new features about IS-10 is it puts the temperature in here, which right. is kind of nice, you know, especially if you're thinking of, you know, eating on a lake outside, perhaps, right? That's right. right. Now, when you scroll down, this whole sort of details area is new. And what it's doing is it's accessing Yelp. Now, this is showing a lot of areas um, with app integration with iOS 10. Right. Um, and what this one's using Yelp. So it's going to bring up Yelp so you could look at photos of the um, restaurant. It's got all its contact information. You have some reviews here. And you see you could pop into Yelp right here to get more information. Right. And, of course, you can make it a favorite or put it in your contacts or report an issue. So I think it's really nice, this app integration, and the way that right here on the map, you can kind of see everything about the restaurant. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Um, and here's another um, app integration that we've got going on here, because this restaurant uses Open Table for res reservations. So mm -hmm. we can go ahead and As we can... any good restaurant should. That's Don't, right. Doesn't it just annoy you when they don't? It does. It annoys <laughs> me. So I'm going to tap on reservations, and it's going to bring Open Table up right within the Maps app. And we can go ahead, it defaults to a table for two, and which is what we are, and we're going to pick 12 o'clock for our time Great. and book with open table. Perfect. <clears throat> and now it's going to come up and show us we're all set we're to all go. We're all set. When we close this, now it says you have a reservation there today at 12 o'clock. Well, we better get going. Let's go to the car. Okay, so we're in the car now. We're ready to go. So we're going to take a look at um, how to get started with the navigation. Yeah, now we've got the Maps app here. Um, I have my phone set up Bluetooth to my car because I don't have a CarPlay car, but it does integrate with Bluetooth with okay. my um, system. So I need to be looking on my phone in order to navigate, right. not on my screen. If and you, you have a nice little spot to set it. I you know, do. Find a good spot yep. in your car. Yep. If you had a CarPlay car, you wouldn't need to use your phone. It would show sure. up right there. So we're going to go ahead and tap in the search bar down here, and we're going to scroll down and see that we have a reservation at Birch's. Um, so we're going to just tap on that, and it's going to bring it up and show us information. The okay. first thing, what we're going to tap on is directions. And it's going to bring up, and it's going to show us that there are three different routes. Now, I can put that down a second here, and then I can see on the map these three different routes. Yeah, this is and one of my favorite features. I just love it. It's a great feature. Yeah. It's not new, but I love it. <laughs> right. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the one that they've got um, indicated for us. So I'm going to pull this up again, and I'm going to go ahead. And before I say go, I want to show you the different options on the bottom. Right now, we're on drive, which makes sense. Yep. I can also tap on walk, which we probably don't want to do. It no. would take like two hours to get there if we were right. walking. But if it was closer. Right. Two hours yeah. and 38 minutes. I don't want to do that. Transit would bring up transit maps if we were in a city that had transit right. maps available, which is fantastic. Yep. And then this is new with iOS 10. It's called Ride. Mm -hmm. 
And here's more app integration. So they have app integration with Lyft, which doesn't have service in my mm -hmm. area, but Uber does. So it's showing me here that um, it'd be a 17 minute wait. And, right. it would cost and you about, can book it right from here. Right. About $13 to do it. Okay. So well, that's we don't nice want to wait 17 no, minutes, No, we don't. Right? Or pay that money. So we're going to drive and we're going to say go. Go. And Starting that's going to take us into the, the road. Lake. Head right. south on County Road 19. Let's go. Okay. Now, right away, you can see it's just bigger and more simple and easier to look at. Like this big button here, and it tells you what to do. These are your directions, your instructions up here. Nice and big and clear. And then down here, if you look down here, you can see your ETA is nice and clear. Miles. Turn left 13 minutes, County Road the number 24. of miles. Hey, we're, we're competing with <laughs> Siri. Siri for Wait, I missed that direction. Airtime. How do you replay directions? Tap up on here. Just tap. In 1.7 miles, turn left onto County Road 24. Isn't that great? That's really uh, nice. Because we don't have it playing through our car speakers right now, so sometimes you might miss something. You just tap up there to hear it again. Um, another, and you can just see the map is big and clear. It's very simple what's going on, where you are and everything. I noticed a huge difference. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. I love being able to see the ETA, the estimated right. time of arrival. It's right. great. And you know, this is a really nice feature too. If I just tap down here, boom, up comes um, all these different things. Here's how I easily get to my overview. If I want to tap on that to go back out away from turn by turn, you know, where I am oh, right. to see the whole thing. I love doing that. I do too. And then you just tap resume. And your car is beeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then um, I'm going to tap here again and go back into it. Here, if I wanted to, I could just tap on it and easily get step-by-step -step directions. See there? Okay, nice. Step -by -step. nice. Sometimes I like looking at those, you know? Right, right. Sometimes it's easier than looking at a map to right. see, oh, I got to turn left And you can here. see how it's all so simple to do now, and it's easy to do when you're driving. Uh-oh, looks like we need gas. Well, you know, this is so easy. With this gas feature here, you just press on that. And then you can scroll up and you can see all the gas stations and they're going to list them from the closest, you know, to the more far away. So you can tap on one. It's going to tell you, adds a minute to your uh, transit. If I go ahead and hit start, In 1 .7 it's going to miles, reroute you turn to the right gas station. North Willow Drive. And you can see up here it says resume route to Birches, which is where we're going. Um, so when you're done at the gas station, whoa, kind of a bumpy turn there. <laughs> two miles, That's what it's like turning right in the car, right? Okay, sense. now I just turned in a different location and now it's already rerouted us, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's the beauty of maps, right? Right. But to get back onto our route up here, resume route to Birches. So let's say we're done at the gas station or um, we decide we don't want to go. I just have to tap right there. It's so simple. So, so, miles, so Apple turn detours, right what are the other detour six. options that you have? What? What are the other detour options that you have? When you bring that up, you can also look for places to eat and for coffee. Right. Oh, yeah. I didn't know what you meant, detour options. Yeah, your three favorite things that you might want to do when you're doing a driving trip. Right. And then here's where you can change the audio. Uh, I In my car, I have Bluetooth, and so does Barb. And um, <clears throat> sometimes you could tell right here it was coming through the phone, but you want it to come through the audio. And you can change your volume. Or I can scroll down here and I can pick sync which it. now it's going to go through my car my car speakers so again it's all really easy to do and really easy to get to when you're driving around all right so we've arrived at our location I'm hungry me too now, before we go in, we want to take a look at a great new feature called Park Car. Ooh, what's that? Well, if your phone is connected to your car via Bluetooth, then you can use this awesome new feature because what it does is when you arrive at your location and you don't even have to be using navigation in order to get somewhere, as soon as your phone disconnects from your car, you get out of your car, you turn it off, the Bluetooth connection is severed, it drops a pin and marks your location. Oh, okay, great. So if you don't have Bluetooth in your car or your car isn't set up for Bluetooth, this doesn't work. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. And I, um, one other thing to notice is um, you could be using navigation to get to your destination or not. Right. It works as long as you did that, had that Bluetooth connection. It works even if you weren't navigating to where that's you are. That's right. So That's a nice feature because I, when I first noticed it, I was like, hey, what's this parked car? And I hadn't been using navigation. So. That's right. 
It's great. So, so let's show them. The first thing to look at is I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on my map. Don't go to sleep, little phone. <laughs> and it's you're going to see this little thing right here, parked car. Ooh. So it's showing you this, of course, is where we are, a little GPS dot, and there's the parked car. So that's a great feature. Um, if I turn on satellite, we can see a little bit better, right? Perfect, yeah. There. Now you can see uh, this is where we are, and it's saying that's where your parked car is. Now, the other place you see it is if I pull up on my list. There it is, parked car. How uh -huh. fun is that? Now, I'm going to tap on that to get more options. And first, you'll see directions. Now, parked car works really good when you're in a, uh, an area with lots of streets, like a city or a suburb, things like that, because GPS works off of... Um, um, addresses and coordinates and things like that and so it's mapped out well so you know right. if you went shopping and you came out and you were like where did I park um, it could find you know it would find and say that you're at 7th and Franklin or whatever. yeah and you could walk to the car with directions right it would give you directions you could tap on that it's already defaulting to walk to and then you would hit go and it would tell you where to go so it's really great in a city or any kind of suburb with a lot of streets and addresses and right. things like that. Where it's not as effective is in a big parking lot or a ramp. Right. But they've taken that into account. And they've given you some options. Because within a parking lot or a ramp, you know, it's not sectioned off within there, you know, with little coordinates right. or addresses. It just has one coordination. Yeah. Right. So um, they've given you some options to take care of that. Here, right here, look, add a photo. You could just tap on it, and then you could snap a photo of where you Isn't are. Isn't that great? I, I love that. Because I'm doing it all the time, but then it's right. my camera roll. That's not very effective. Or here, yeah, right, this just keeps it in here. Here you could tap, and you could add a note. You could say, I'm on the fifth row. And it's kind of black. It's hard to see. Right. But I'm in the fifth row um, blue lot, you know, if you went to a big parking ramp kind right. of situation. Um, but also another really great way to mark where you are in a lot or thing, uh, something like that is the edit location. So I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to zoom in to, there is my ramp, my lot. Um, and you can see, um, it's saying that my car is over here and that we're right here and my car's over here, but that's actually not true. So <laughs> that's, it's cause it's a, it's a lot. It's not really that accurate. And it's GPS. Right. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is you can go ahead and move it. So your car is exactly. right where you are. Right. And this is going to stay, your parked car marker is going to stay there. So if I go back out to my map and zoom in, right and you were to come out, you can see it's moved it. It's moved it. Yeah. That's so you so can great. actually mark where it is. Isn't that great? Yeah. I so they've taken into account that um, if you're not in a streeted area, it's not as effective and they've given you all these tools to make it great. So there's really no reason to ever lose your car again. That's right. So let's go to lunch because we know we're going to find our car when we come out. That's right. Thanks for learning with Sync Sisters. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Fit. And please subscribe to our channel.